I'm going to show you guys the top edge shirt seats, 5 to 11, up to um, iOS 16. Uh, most of these will support, hopefully, iOS 15, unless obviously stated. Um, so just know, try to set your own risk, guys. I'm not the responsible for what happens to your device. Obviously, the new iOS 15 and 16 jailbreaks are really unstable because they're pretty new as making this video as that time. Um, some most of these probably won't support iOS 16 unless it like it specifically states. But even though if it does, it says it, it still could screw up your device. I mean, um, people like me, not like me, but just people like us, you know, viewers and just normal people every day, you know, made these tweets. So uh, in other words, not like they're fully tested. And all these tweets are like 100% going to work and then tested, you know, most of them probably will work, but you're still taking that risk. Even on the lower iOS versions, some tweets could still mess up your device. Um, so whenever you're doing jailbreaking, always doing your backup. Don't ever do on like a main device. Always back up your data and everything and expect the worst, you know. Don't like, if you don't back up and prepare for it, something happens, you're screwed. I mean, it's unfortunately, and you're, if you're stuck in a boot loop, you're most likely SOL and you're going to have to, you know, pretty much, um, what's it called? Restore your device and then you're gonna, it's going to update to the latest version. You're going to lose all your jailbreaks, all your themes. All your tweets and if you didn't back up you lose all your photos and videos etc so just be careful and mindful of that but the first we have is called etsy wall um sports i was 14 of 15.7.1 so this gives you pretty much the ios 16 wallpaper depth effect on your lock screen so you see some screenshots right here where it's an iphone success and above and you need at least iOS 14 and above. Um, it's not compatible with uh, iPads. Next week is called Libya Rays and should be only used by iRay products. Closed library, no support is provided for this package. All right, next week is called Tether Me for iOS 8 and up. Uh, one of my favorite tweets, well, back in the day was, and just actually got updated. So it does cost $4.99. iOS 8 and up, compatible with uh, Tether Me. It uh, enables the native tethering functionality of your device and gives you the option to share data from a VPN or share Wi-Fi connection to USB. It does not enable the instant hotspot functionality introduced in handoff in iOS 8.1. It also allows you to edit your APN settings. So, yep, this measure should work on every carrier without an additional user interaction. If you decide to tether without your carrier's knowledge, then they do find out they could charge you and me or the developer is not responsible. You guys do use it at your own risk by downloading it. <clears throat> Um, newest version or newest update does support iris 14 compatibility <clears throat> don't fail to enable hotspot toggle when override data uh, source is disabled and fits buds and adds new buds for later so this is in the picture of you have um, override data source personal hotspot apn settings and you can share from you choose we request sleep saver and this does work on iris 11 to 15.7.1 so it has fully customizable screen shavers to your iPhone, iPad, or iPod. Some screenshots of it. You can read all these features and options. It does work on iOS 15 or show on iOS 15. All right, so this is called Call Log Pro. Um, it was actually one updated. It's actually um version uh i think it's, yeah 15.0 beta 1 and it's just that i was 15 to i was 8 um so that one does for us 15 this one does not like i said make sure it should say in the title and it should be version 15.0 beta 1 or higher um, but what this suite does it's a free update for call our pro users um it allows you to manage your calls history and delete call records one by one or all or some firmware starting from ios 8 and up